In this video, we are going to look at the LAN, that is the local area network. Let's see how a LAN looks like. As you can see here, there's a router, there's a firewall, internet connection is there, there are so many laptops and PCs, there are even servers, hubs and switches. Lots of network devices have been connected together to form this local area network. This local area network could be using wireless connection or wired connection. A LAN is typically spread over an office space. So here let's see why we use or why we set up a LAN. It is usually done to share the software and hardware resources that an office has to offer. So if there is a typical software or typical hardware, say a printer or a fax machine or any software that the office is using, all the people in the office are using, so it will be very expensive to buy a copy for each of the workstations. So what happens that you set up a server in the LAN and you put that software there or over that LAN, the network, you put or install that uh, hardware and all the systems that are connected on the LAN can then just access it and share that hardware or the software resource. It makes it very cheap and easy to install and maintain for the office. LAN is completely wireless, then it is called a wireless LAN. Like I told you earlier, it can be set up, the LAN can be set up using a wired network or a wireless network or a combination of these two. Now, it decreases infrastructure cost for the organization drastically. Besides decreasing the cost, it also decreases the issues of security and transparency. So, in this video, we have seen how a local area network is set up and used. In the next video, we are going to look at how a MAN or a metropolitan area network is set up and used.